Come on, get down. Yeah, all right. It's the Max Cornelius Headroom Show, where the pace is hot and the sounds are not. So watch this and put some pep in your step, some cut in your strut, roll in your throat, glad in your stride, slick, and some burn up in your pewter. Yeah. Well, I sit here and work on what I'm talking about. <laughs> These. <laughs> Shackle. The videos are all very well, but I'm a <laughs> classical music person, as I think you know. That's why I love to watch the better class of TV ads, the one that use real music. Ah, <laughs> uh, J.S. Bach wrote some beautiful pieces for the cigar. And how about... Lovely. Yeah, good old Borchak. What a bread salesman. <laughs> and I have to smile when I see you more hmm, ignorant people in record shops asking for the pure wool music and the deodorant tune. <laughs> of course, being a bit of an expert, I have a different problem. Last week I had to stand in a sweet shop and sing the whole of Handel's Messiah because I'd forgotten the name of my favorite chocolate bar. <laughs> Such a smile. There it is. Oh. No, don't go away, because i got something really great to show you. Now, I know these videos are very good, but you can have too much of a good thing, and your mind can sort of OD on them. So really, they can be dangerous. And so, by way of a change, here's something you must not miss. It's unique. I don't believe it's ever been seen on TV before, because I brought it in myself today. And it's totally different. It's a rare film of how golf 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 balls 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 golf balls are made. Just look at this. Oh, look at that. That is incredible. That's amazing. Oh god, it gets better all the time. Woo! There, you see? Who says I don't know what the public wants? Hmm? How do you know? That has nothing to do with it. A lot of people who watch pop videos are interested in golf. Do a survey for once in your life, Tim. Why does he do it? Why does he do it to me? He says to me, Max, who do you want on your show that's really fascinating and really special? So I say, easy. Severiano Ballesteros. He can come on and talk about golf. And Tim says, who is he? Who is he? He's only won the U.S. Masters, the Dunhill Masters, the British Open, the French Open, and the Spanish Open. Need I go on? And Tim says he's not interesting enough. Can you believe that? Listen, if he's not interesting, I'd like to know who is. That other fellow, what's his name? Wagen, Wagen, w yeah, that's him. Wagen, that's him. He had Princess Anne on. Now, what does she know about golf? Can you play golf on horseback? Of course you can. And that other man, Perkinson, they tell me he had Muhammad Ali on. I bet Muhammad Ali doesn't even play golf. Oh, it makes me angry. Okay, he says Ballesteros isn't interesting. I'll prove him wrong. I'll tell you about him. Listen to this. Severiano Ballesteros is very, very interesting. He is Spanish. He comes from Spain. He wears really stylish sweaters, and he has very interesting dark hair. And wait, wait. He plays, wait. He plays, he plays golf. Oh, what's the point? Okay, it seems a lot of you guys have taken my advice on dress and are now walking around in baggy shorts and flip, 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 flops, flip, 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 Great. If you see me, give me a wave. I love to see style. I also enjoy a good laugh. But now you're writing in and asking me the big one, the advice to beat all advice. How to walk out on the street and look a real man. Okay, you want to look macho, right? Here's how you do it. First, it's how you move. Try to get that all-important shoulder twitch. Getting that nice subtle hint of the hairy back just tickling away there under the shirt is essential for the macho man, but not too twitchy, or your cigarette packet will fall out of the pocket in your sleeve. Now, where to work? I'm afraid macho men do not work in public libraries. Sorry, all you He-Man bookworms. So, if you have to, at least stamp the books very hard. And if possible, carry them around in a brickhod. Lesson number two. If possible, 
Get a job on a building site, giving full opportunity to wear the too short t-shirt and the baggy hipster jeans, just about to slide down over the hips. So when you bend down, you expose that essential nine inches of the bottom of your back. And of course, that is the perfect place for your gold chain or your I Love Mary tattoo. See? Think original. And working out of doors does allow you to address passing women with the macho conversation opener. <whistles> and what? Not to be confused with the standard greeting of male friends of what? What? What's that? Tim, don't get frightened. I'm only telling them about it. Wait! Wait! Jeez, that guy has no sense of humor. Chicago was sweating out one of those long, hot nights of big-time goils and big-time deals. Too bad I was stuck here in Watford. I needed action. Fast. So I rented a two-bit TV in a five-cent room in a ten-cent hotel. That made a lot of sense. Now I can tune in and watch Special Agent Max. Boy, is he cool. Special Agent Max is so damn sharp, he's got more funny lines than British Ray 